Hey, hey, hey everyone, it's Siege the Day with Day by Day Farms. Let's get ready to Siege the Day. It is summer one. We have a whole new season. We've got new crops to work on and we've got our continued goal to find something to eat every day to continue to work on getting clothing for every single day and to have a good time. So let's get this field plowed out so and tilled so that we can start farming. Okay. I think we are going to keep it kind of simple. I kind of want to till this whole area, but I don't know if I should. I know I'm not going to be able to make all the fertilizer that I want. But let's just try to make as much fertilizer as we can. I think the scarecrow crow should go right there. We do also need to buy some more seeds and everything. But I think... I'm hoping that the scarecrow will protect everything. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so he is in the center, that's good. And then... Let's see, one, two... I know we don't have tons of sap, so that's one, two, three, four, five, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll just clear out this whole area. This is gonna be our farming area for now. I don't think we'll need much more than this on a regular basis. We are still kind of broke. So I don't want to get overly ambitious with buying too many things, but I think we can get some of this farmed and planted. It is going to take a lot longer to water our crops once we do this, obviously. We're going to have to start eating some good breakfasts in the morning, but at least we won't have to till it every single time. We'll just have to water it, which I think shouldn't be too much of a problem. We do have that cauliflower. That is not what I meant. There we go. Okay. So let's go eat that cauliflower for breakfast. Make as much um, fertilizer as we can. So let's do that. So we'll drop all of that off. We'll grab the sap and we'll grab the cauliflower. And we'll eat the cauliflower. If we remember how to eat. There we go. And then we will craft all of the sap which unfortunately is not going to be nearly enough fertilizer for all of our um, all of the farming area we just planted so we will have to be kind of judicious on what we use this area for okay so that we should probably though plant our melons here so we have a little bit but let's just plant our mixed seeds at the bottom hope for the best we will need to get some area for our t what am I even trying to say the things with the the vin the the vineyard stuff whatever that stuff's called it's hops uh, trellis that's the word I'm looking for the trellis crops 
don't really have a space right here yet. But we'll figure something out. So we should probably, we had nine, so let's see if we can get 21 more melons with what we have to sell today. I think that should work out because we have quite a few. We shouldn't ship all of, okay, largemouth bass, let's do it. And that is what our month looks like for summer. Uh, so the luau is next Thursday. And Dance of the Moonlight Jellies is at the very end of the month, which is actually coincide with Halloween in real life, which I am pretty excited for. So we're going to try and do some kind of summer ween something. Okay, there we go. And then one more. Perfect. And I think we will need a few more fertilizer. Okay. I'm not going to buy any more than that, but we are going to buy... Okay, so we have 30 melons. And we have... a. So there's about 50 at the top spot, so we need 20 more crops. So let's just, we'll plant wheat and all that. But I do want to grab some flower seeds. We probably should grab some corn. I think we'll save the sunflowers for a little bit later. But that looks like pretty good stuff to me. And we will, we should grab five of these. Okay. And let's sell all of that stuff. I think that will be really good. That way, if we need to, we have a little bit more time to replant some melons. But I think... I'm hoping we'll get five with the, the fertilizer that we have, as well as... Oh, we should have brought the stuff for Gunther. Oops, we'll have to do that later. But we are going to buy, since we have enough money, we're going to buy the iron ore we need. Shop. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. We're going to smelt this up really fast, and then we'll have our iron bar, and then we'll start recycling some stuff. Why is that, Alex? The whole season to look forward to. Bye, Alex. It was nice seeing you. The other thing we can do... It's not too late. Let's go comb the beach. Look at Haley working on her tan. I do not tan in real life. I turn bright pink. It's very exciting. So far, nothing. Except for these muscles, which is good. Okay. That's okay. Because hopefully we have something good in our crab pot. Let's find out. Hopefully Willie is actually... Okay, that is not what I wanted from the crab pot. Hi, Mayor Lewis. Yes, they smell. Uh, bait. Perfect. Maybe we should move the crab pot. If you think we should move the crab pot to the river so that we can definitely get one of the, like, the periwinkle or something so that we don't keep kidding mussels and clams? Let me know in the comments below. I do kind of want to try for a crab, but that might not be the most efficient way to go about this. It is beautiful weather. I do like summer. It's just very hot where I'm from. So it is not always as idyllic as some people think it is. All right, so let's get this 
iron smelted and as we smelt the iron we will plant we need to go get a coal from the box okay there we go perfect we need to water everything <laughs> very excited about all this okay so we will okay so we are actually there we go. So these three rows are all going to be melon. Perfect. And then this row is going to be the hops since this is one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then hopefully we have enough space for all the other crops. Those two should go together. These two should go together and then okay so it looks like the rest will go down here perfect all right so tomatoes and then chili peppers and then blueberries and then corn kind of unfortunate that that plant is too tall but that is okay we will get it taken care of let's grab some more water we will plant our plants okay and then a few more radishes perfect all right let's see how long it takes to water all of our crops if it takes too long, we'll probably do this in a time lapse next time, depending on how much it is. But for now, we are just going to sit back, relax, and do some crop watering. Kind of excited to see what all we have for these crops. It's going to be pretty interesting. We do have to remember to save our summer foraging. We also have some fish, some new fish that we need to get. I would like to get my axe upgraded again this season so that we can go into the secret woods and get a fiddlehead fern so that we can get that taken care of. All right, and it looks like our Iron is done smelting, but it's just going to have to wait for a little bit so that we can water everything. Hopefully we will have enough energy. I don't know that we will. So, um, okay, yep. Let's go get another cauliflower from the box. I don't need both cauliflower, just one. It is a Herculean day, and it takes a Herculean effort. What else does the recycling machine need? Wood and stone. All right, wood, stone. And let's grab our newspapers, because those are the ones we want to recycle first, is all the newspaper. All right, so we will grab recycling machine. We'll just put it right next to the furnace for now. We'll probably move it somewhere else later, but for now, that's where we're doing it. All right, keep watering our crops. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark before we finish watering for the day. I'm really hoping we can get some cloth out of one of the three sogging newspapers we have so that we can get the cutscene with Emily on how to use the sewing machine. Oh, I thought I heard a noise. Oops, oh well. Well, it looks like everything's watered at least, so that is good. Okay, we've got some torches. Let's drop all of our stuff off inside. Some of that, some of that. 
those. Let's ship the mussels. I don't know how much of that we'll actually need. Okay. I probably should have put this other farm one lower so that the scarecrow didn't keep covering everything. But we live and we learn. I'll do that for next season or depends on if these crops all grow up at the same time. We will need to plant wheat in the future. It is also a fall crop though, so I'm not too worried about getting it done right now. Please, 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 one of these needs to turn into cloth, so I'm hoping it's this last one. If not, we're going to recycle the trash next because the trash has a chance of recycling into iron ore or coal, I believe, in addition to a couple other things. So we'll just grab those, throw that in there. Feels kind of weird to just sit here and not do anything, so let's chop this tree while we wait since we are completely out of sap. We are kind of ignoring our sticky bundle for now, but... We have to get sap eventually. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go needy, need to go fishing for trash. Which we have the technology. I don't know how much fish we can actually grab from this pond. I know we can grab some because this is the forest farm. If it weren't, we would only have chances to get trash, so... It's going to be harder to get trash on this farm, which is a good thing normally, but might not be exactly what we want for the cloth, but that's okay. I think we're going to turn in a little bit early. Let's just throw these things in. Oh, not there, but we will throw that in there. And put our torches away. And then check. Living off the land. Summer. Slew of new crops. Yep. Harvested every day. And what does our weather look like for tomorrow? Clear and sunny all day. Beautiful. Alright, let's go to sleep. Thank you so much for joining me today and sieging the day with me, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.